गुड इविनिंग फ्रेंड्स मैं आज कमल कुमारी नेशनल एवार्ड टू थाउजेण्ड टूवेल्भर बटा तो टू थाउजेण्ड सिक्सटीन न फेब्रुआर प्रदान कर मोर भागिन ऐश्वर्य पी कुर यह बटा तो लाभ कर चीफ गेस्ट जाहनु बरवा प्रफेसर धीराज बरा और प्रांतिकर प्रदीप बरवा उपस्थित आन्य गण्य मान्य व्यक्ति और मानू गुरुपुरुआन And ladies and gentlemen, before we even start off with this event, may I request all present here to kindly rise and observe a minute of silence in the memory of the spirit of late Hemant Rajapaksa. Degrees in sculpture from the Faculty of Fine Arts, MSU, in 2012 and 2014, respectively. Mr. Sergio has a deep interest in the aspects of human behavior. and the depiction of emotions through various mediums she is also interested in the psychological aspect of many societies around us seeking experiences and exploring them she tries to depict them in her works she wishes to devote herself to a chosen medium of art for the good of the community she believes in the influence of art to empower the practitioner to develop critical thinking skills as well as collaborative and creative skills mastery of the over the east she believes are vital if one is to succeed in today's swiftly changing world miss asarcha has participated in several prestigious shows and festivals and is the recipient of the mahindra pandey award 2011 and i now read out the citation respected miss asarcha p kumar the komal kumari foundation takes great pleasure in presenting to you the komal kumari national award for art and culture in memory of Omid Bora for the year 2012 through your creativity and dedication to your chosen art form you Ms Bora have enriched the world of visual art at this young age you've created your own unique style and imbued your works with a distinctive stamp of your imagination and intellect your works through several mediums are thoughtful and contemporary your deep interest in aspects of human behavior finds expression in your artistic endeavors Your efforts to depict the experiences you seek out in your work add to their richness. Your work, oriented to the exploration of natural phenomena and their impact on the physical environment, are highly individualistic. Your new works are also related to personal space and incident, reflecting the various issues that you have been dealing with. It is indeed laudable that at this young age you have carved a space for yourself in the world of visual arts. and have already exhibited at many prestigious events this award is our tribute to your dedication artistic achievements and commitment in the field of visual art may god bless you and your efforts in the cause of excellence in art ladies and gentlemen i will now request our chief guest mr janu bora to kindly for come forward to give away this award and i request the awardee ms ashwarya p kaur to kindly come forward to receive this award from our chief guest and i would request all our guests present here to kindly put your hands together for this young lady who has found a niche for herself in her own field and here is our chief guest for today's function blessing the young lady miss asarcha p kaur with the award the common kumari national award 2012 for art and culture in memory of omitola may i now request the award ms asarcha p kaur to present her speech and i thank ms janubarwa नमस्कार 
बता तो ग्रहण करे बोलो ये पाए खुबे ही होगी ये बता तो ग्रहण करे बोलो ये पाए मैं जीमान होगी तातो कोई वैसी होगी ए ही कारण नहीं जे ये बत बता तो दिया व्यक्ति जान अखमर अन्यतम कलानोरा दी जी दिन अखन माने 2013 में जी तो अखन मैं पत्रकार पाए सो ए बता दूँ कि हम कोई बार बाबे मैंने वैसे तो हुआ है हे दिन तो मुझे कारण है अन्यतम स्मॉलिंग का दिन मैं खुबे हुकी ए बता दूँ कि हम कोई बार बाबे पाए मैं भविष्य तो लगी ए हिल हिल पकड़ा के निज़ और जीवन और पेशन आरो प्रोफेशन ही सबे ग्रहण करी आग पर ही जा बोलो ही सस्ता करी आरु भविष्य दे मौए अपना लोगों का आरु दिवार करने सस्ता करी तो इन्हें बात खुबे हो कि ये बोलता तो ग्रहण कोई बोलो भाई मौए भविष्य तो लगे ये हिल हिल पकड़ा के निज़ और जीवन और पेशन आरो प्रोफेशन ही सबे ग्रहण करी आप पर ही जा बोलो ही सस्ता करी आरो भविष्य दे मौए अपना लोगों का आरो दिवार करने सस्ता करी तो इन्हें बात एट द मोस्ट आई कैन थिंक ऑफ फाइव मिनट्स बट beyond five minutes, it becomes a big problem for me. But nevertheless, when, he, <coughs> when it says that it has to be a lecture, I cannot uh, give a lecture in five minutes. So that way I am caught. And uh, <coughs> this morning actually I jotted down something and uh, I don't know <clears throat> uh, how much I succeed in convincing you what I want to say. Uh, respected honor of the Fali, honored uh, recipients of the awards, common quality awards, and uh, Navi, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I must thank the organizers for inviting me here. When I was asked to choose a topic of my choice, for today's memory lecture, I got into a dilemma thinking what to choose. The kind of filmmaker I am, kind of person I am, I know only how to dream. Although I face reality every moment of my life, like everyone, But I always live with dreams. Because in dreams, what happens, I always see myself becoming winners and successful in everything, whatever I do. So no one can stop me on that. So I always like to dream. But that also what happens, that also what gives me pleasure because it balances all my failures that I gather in my real life. So that way it becomes almost, almost quit. And the life becomes uh, without a dull moment. Uh, <clears throat> but obviously, I mean that about dream when I can say that this cannot be a topic for lecture.
But uh, what I feel that uh, the spirit behind all my dreams has something to do with some aspect that is art and culture. So I thought maybe I could share something about this aspect, art and culture. But what? The subject is so vast, it's almost like a sea. But I, and I know very little. I'm still a, still a student so far, uh, this subject is concerned. Then I try to connect to the objectives of late Hemendra Prasad Bhagwa as well. <clears throat> as well as of uh, Kamal Kumari Foundation in the aspect of art and culture. And I thought perhaps I could talk about uh, promotion and propagation of art and culture and its importance in building a healthy human society. The subject becomes very, I mean, sounds very hi-fi. But I assure you, it's very, very simple. When I say that a uh, healthy human society, I just want to clarify that when you say that healthy human society, it's not the body health. It's the health of the mind. Our society suffers because of unhealthy mindsets. To look after the health of bodies, there are doctors, medicines, and you just have to believe in, <coughs> go to the doctor and believe in him, have faith in him, he cures you. But when you are sick in your mind, no one can cure you. And uh, that is the problem. And then in the process, and that is also another problem that that sickness, you cannot, it, it's not visible to you. No one can look at, look at a person that you can say his mind is sick, he needs treatment. No. When a person who is physically ill or sick, you can make up that he is sick, he needs treatment. So mentally sick person, I'm, I'm talking about that, for the unhealthy minds. You cannot treat him with medicines or so. No money can treat him. No man, money can cure him. The, we, he has to look for something else. That is what yeah, I want to talk about. As I said, I, I, I well, I've been introduced by <coughs> that uh, two, three times said international, international. But here, when I'm facing an audience, I, I get very nervous. And uh, I've been carrying my water bottle for that. And uh, <coughs> so, To elaborate on that aspect,